In this video, we want you to understand what it really feels like to drive a Ferrari, to really see and feel the emotion. Like this, the Ferrari F8 Spider, everything gets turned up to the max. And here on the road, which is surrounded by mountains and greenery, this backdrop acts as a sounding board. And your thoughts are turned up to the max too. You hear the engine revving, you see the steering wheel, LED shift lights as you climb closer and closer to that red line. And as a corner quickly approaches in a Ferrari, you marvel at how instinctive the car feels with a solid and easy to judge brake pedal. However, there are two main sensations that you just never forget after driving a Ferrari. First is the steering. Now it seems impossibly light and yet fast at the same time. And even if it sounds strange to say, it's a feature that lives in Ferrari's DNA. And it's one that makes you communicate with this car unlike any other. And then there's the calibration of the electronics that control the car's behavior, which is truly spectacular. Now these digital interventions are designed not by outside companies, but by Ferrari engineers themselves and the test drivers at Ferrari to provide maximum confidence in aggressive driving conditions without having to deactivate the driving aids. On the track, but mostly on the road, the throttle positioning gives you the freedom to counter steer in a controlled manner, knowing that the car's gonna catch itself if necessary. And that is part of the Ferrari magic. In short, driving the F8 Spider produced similar feelings to that driving the F8 Tributo, which makes sense considering the near identical spec sheet. 720 horsepower, 211 miles per hour top speed, and 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds. But leaving the numbers aside, the Spider thrills more than the coupe with the folding hardtop stowed away. Its shape is inspired by the Manta Ray, but it also recalls Ferrari racing cars of the past, with the two side fins paying tribute to prior Formula One cars. These cues make the spider less upright, giving the impression that the car is wider, along with the four tail lights, a tradition of the cars of Cavallino. In the cabin, the F8 Spider is the latest example of the design language that started with the 458 Italia and now evolved with the recent update introduced on the SF90 Stradale. Here, however, the interaction with the controls isn't as digital as with brand new models like the Roma. It remains physical, less technological, with more technical elements in carbon fiber and aluminium. And there are improved ergonomics with newly styled sports seats and a different steering wheel shape. As far as we're concerned, the F8 Spider is the most beautiful of all the new Ferraris, with an honorable mention to the Roma. But even more beautiful are the sounds of that V8 engine. And 
okay, it might be true the turbo engine doesn't have the scream of a naturally aspirated Ferrari V8, but it still has a very characteristic and unique voice that stands out from any other sports car. And you can still hear that exhaust note even when the roof is closed, just by lowering the rear window. When we learned that we'd have an F8 Spider to drive for a few days, we thought about how best to share that experience because it's a real privilege to have access to this Ferrari. And so we take you to one of our favorite roads, the Mote Levata. Because it's important to remember however beautiful a car is, you also need to pick the right road to drive it on. 